Hey everyone, Heather here. And today I have quite a few packages to open and I'm really excited about every single one of them. So I figured, hey, I'm gonna make a video so that we can go through everything together. I know two of these things are Final Fantasy XIV related. I believe the other one is a manga. And then another one went to my PO box for this YouTube channel. So I'm just really excited to open everything. So I'm gonna start with the biggest one which is this guy. I actually ordered this one a few weeks ago, but it just shipped out recently. So I'm really, really excited about this one. Ooh. Ah, God, the bubble wrap scares me. There it is. The Final Fantasy XIV N. Walker, The Art of Resurrection Among the Stars. This is, I believe, the art book for N. Walker. And I'm so excited because I think this is the first N. Walker like, piece of merch that I own. All right. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I really can't wait for the new encyclopedia to come out. I'm almost done reading the first one. I'm definitely going to make a video about that. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's look at this, the table of contents. We've got artworks and characters, the trials, dungeons, locations, equipment, minions and mounts, and additional art. And a message from the art team, awesome. Okay, so I guess here's your spoiler alert if you haven't gotten to Endwalker. If you wanna see the rest of what I have to open, because I believe there are no spoilers in here, just use the timestamps in the pin comment or the video description and just jump to that section because I'm sure that there's going to be something in here that's a spoiler if you, you know, haven't gone to Endwalker yet. But for the rest of us, I just, I need to do a flip through. There's like almost 300 pages in here, so there's no way I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to, oh, see, I want these as posters. Do you see this? I want this as a poster and this is a poster, except I also want Oliver Benley. <laughs> right there you know that's one thing that i'd love to do is is like commission an artist to to draw oliver benley as part of the scions that'd be so cool oh my gosh you know when we got to charlian i was so i was so excited because it's like this place that we've been talking about forever and ever and ever and we finally get to see what it looks like but Razat Han is definitely my favorite city from and walker that i mean First of all, the music is such a bop and I just love the color, the vibrancy. Okay, this is going to start to be like an Endwalker review. I'll save that. But definitely like if there's a city I can live in, in Endwalker, it would totally be Rods at Han. Oh my gosh, do you see this? Oh, this is so cool. I love this outfit. I, I mean, I would wear this outfit, so I really like it. <laughs> I really want this minion, and I'm not sure how to get it, but I'm sure someone will tell me, and it's probably going to involve a raid or whatever. This is definitely going to be sitting at the coffee table for a while. Final Fantasy XIV has really made me appreciate this, but like, as I've gotten older, and you know, I used to travel a lot in my 20s. And then obviously because of the past couple of years, traveling has been harder. But what I realize about the places that I like to visit where it's out of my element and it's like a completely new place is I like feeling the, the history of whatever it is that happened there. I, I don't know why, like that's the thing that sticks out to me the most, more so than nature, more so than arts or culture or nightlife or, you know, I really like food, but aside from that, like my favorite things. Okay, so the last time my husband and I went to New York, it was actually our first time to go there together. We went to the oldest bar in New York and the oldest restaurant in New York, both of which are still standing and obviously operating. And it was just the oldest bar is called McSorley's. And it is so crazy because when you go in there, 
it smells old. The wood, it's like the original wood. It has to be or whatever. If it's not the absolutely original wood, it's like super old because you could just smell and see the character that's built up on the wood for decades. Abraham Lincoln used to go there. And I think there's also like a wanted poster from John Wilkes Booth still hanging there. And it's just, it's crazy to to be in the same space as like these figures that you read about and, and study about. And I really get that same sense with Final Fantasy XIV, like it gives me that same feeling and, and appreciation. And I know it's a fantasy world, but I don't know. I don't care. I still think it's really cool because you have the Allegans, which is like a, an ancient civilization, but like not that ancient compared to the Asians, which is like even more ancient. And like there are such things as undiscovered ruins, you know, like there are things that I think today it's like the final frontier is actually space, maybe the ocean, like the deep, deep ocean, which like, oh, I'm like not into the ocean very much. But it's cool that like in this game, there, there's such a sense of like things that we just forget about because time and history, right? It's just like there, there has been so many calamities that people forget the reasoning behind certain things and like, you know, why these legends exist and what happened, like what are the significances and stuff. And then you as the next generation or like many generations later have to figure it out and piece it together. Like, I think that's one of my favorite things about Final Fantasy XIV is, is that it's such a, a journey of discovering the past, which then like influences the future, right? Like it makes you feel like you have um, stake in the future. I love this place too, it's so colorful. See how beautiful it is, look at that. Look at that, you see that? Like, don't you want to hang out here? It kind of looks like Horseshoe Bend, huh? I don't, I'm sure I've gone there like when I was a kid, but I haven't been as an adult. Look how gorgeous, like, don't you just want to hang out here? Don't you just want to hang out here? Like, let's throw down a rug. I would set up a stall right here. And I don't know, vibe. It's so funny that there was like a countdown to Endwalker and I had no idea. Like I just, I didn't understand that. I'm living in the same world as a whole community that is so excited about this game that I had never even heard of. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I want to hang some of these, but I would hate to tear them out. I really want to read the message from the, the art team. At long last, we arrive at the science panel chapter. Our days have been all sorts of heart pounding, wondering whether or not we would be able to finish this voluminous scenario on time, not to mention how difficult it was conceiving the new Sage and Reaper jobs. I want to read like all these little messages. This is probably my other favorite thing is like, it's easy to forget that there are so many people that work on the things that we get to enjoy and each person has their own story and experiences and talents that they're bringing to the table and they have feelings <laughs> also and you know they it's just a special thing that you bring all these people together to to create something that would not have existed and i just love that okay so there are several pages oh man the end singer let me tell you how many times this girl has killed me let me tell you, like to this day, I still am like, where am I standing? Because the, the friggin' planets are moving so fast. Oh man. Anyway, we will save that for when I do a whole video on Endwalker. Okay, cool. That was awesome. I'm excited to really dig in to this, but we will move on to the next package, which I believe is this one. Yes, I already opened it because I thought it was something else <laughs> and it wasn't because it came the next day, like right after I ordered it. So this is the Final Fantasy XIV Chronicles of Light. They compiled all the short stories that come out with every expansion into a book because I didn't know that there were even short stories to begin with. And I think I found out about them when the N Walker ones were getting released and I read the first one and then I was like, oh, there are short, short stories for every single expansion. I should go back and, you know, read them all. So in this book, we get Tales from the Calamity, Tales from the Dragons on War, so Realm Reborn, Heaven's War, Tales from the Calm, Stormblood, Tales from the Storm. No, this is Stormblood. I don't know what this is. 
Um, and that's it, right? So the Shadowbringers and um, Endwalker ones aren't in here, but these are the ones that like, you know, I wanted to read. And what I've been trying to do is if you watched my last video, I've been trying to make some changes in my lifestyle to be more healthy and be more active. And so Tom and I have a stationary bike and I am just going to, if I'm playing with my Nintendo Switch or if I'm watching TV or reading a book, I want to be on the stationary bike. I want to be moving. I told myself I won't allow myself to read these unless I'm on the bike. So I can like really get motivated to get on the bike and move. I can't be on the bike when I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV because I need to take notes and I have my laptop. Expanding upon the rich lore of Final Fantasy XIV, the 25 short stories herein offer finely detailed vignettes of those who stood with and against the hero of Eorzea. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited to read this. I feel like I can probably blast through this pretty quick. Like a few days at most. So I'm gonna start with these next. Technically, we are not unboxing anything because I have obviously already unboxed these and have enjoyed one full one of these. This was recommended to me by Self Help. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, this is a manga called Firen, Beyond Journey's End, and it's a story about what happens after an adventurer's journey, right? So like, say you defeat the ultimate bad guy, then what? And I love the idea of exploring that, right? Because there's just so much glory in, in like, the actual adventure but like what happens after to this to the adventurers right like not the not necessarily the consequences of the town that you saved or you know all the good things that you've done but personally for the adventurers what is what does it look like and um i'm really enjoying it so far this has helped me to get <laughs> onto the stationary i already finished this one liked it so much that i ordered book two and then Tom and I went to Barnes and Nobles recently and I saw that they had book three, so I just got it. I've only read one other manga, which is The Promised Neverland. And I really like The Promised Neverland. I also like the, the anime, um, but the world of manga is like a completely untouched world for me. I, I don't know how to get in. I think when it comes to certain things like anime and manga and video games and books and, you know, TV shows and series and movies and all these things like my best thing is to get recommendations from people who just know me and have already like you know liked it and they're like okay I know you Heather I think you'd like this so I really take recommendations to heart and if you are a uh, you know purveyor of manga I would love to know your recommendations there's like a manga series that is like you know this is the one that everyone needs to read in the entire world. I'd love to know. I really don't know. I, I watch a lot of anime though. So um, if there is an anime, I probably watched it. But so far, really enjoying this. And lastly, here is Bento the Malevolent. And I have him here because I have a feeling that what is in here is going to be stickers. Because I asked everyone, I think it was in my last video, that this is Bento the Benevolent. It's a box that I'm probably going to be using a lot in my upcoming videos just for mostly like the order of how to talk about things, but who knows? Like maybe maybe we do a Q&A and I put your cues in here. I don't know. So I just needed something to like hold stuff where I could randomly draw things out of, but the two eyes are cool. I just felt like there should be just a little bit more character. I was actually gonna paint it but I kind of like the look of the cardboard box covered with stickers sent from you, right? So, but honestly, like, I really don't know if this is what this is. I have no idea. This came to my P.O. box, so. Sure. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like in this, like, foil cover thing. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. Oh, I feel so special. This is Zelda. Uh, Chihuahua, the unofficial mascot of the Grinding Gear channel. Loving your content as you look back on your breakneck pace journey. Sincerely, Jiao to Adriana Dreadrip. Oh my God, this is so cool. 
someone else in the comments recommended the Grinding Gear channel to me, and out of all the Final Fantasy XIV channels that I've seen so far, like, theirs is the one that I feel like, um, I don't know, they, they just seem like really cool guys, right? Like, I feel like we'd be friends in real life. They, they seem awesome. I, I could never <laughs> do what they're doing, which is, like, stream my entire playthrough. I'm telling you, streams just kill me. I, I admire them for that, but also, like, I know they do podcasts and stuff. I don't know. This is so cool. Thank you so much. I, I just, I find it amazing that YouTube can allow us to connect in this way. Like, it still fascinates me. Oh no, don't make me cut this because it's too pretty. How did you get this in here? Oh, oh. All right, here we go. What if it's not a sticker and it's just like... <laughs> Oh my goodness! How cute! It's the mascot! What's the mascot's name? Zelda! Aww! So the question is, where do I put it? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Well, I'm just gonna put it on the top. I feel like the inaugural sticker should just... Bam! Like that, yeah? How's that? This side? Am I overthinking it? Oh my god, this is so cool! What a special thing! Thank you so much! Bam! Sticker number one! <laughs> this is so cool! <gasps> Yay! Look at that! Oh my gosh. If you want to send stickers for Bento, I'm going to leave my P.O. box in the pinned comment and the video description. I just, I'd love to see this covered in all kinds of stories that are represented by your stickers because like, look how cool that is. Okay, so let's... Let's take a look at what we did here. Got the first <laughs> sticker on Bento. Yay. I've got my second manga series that I own. Whoop, there it is. I've got a new Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker book. Look how dope this cover is. And I'm probably gonna read this one next. I'm excited. Chronicles of Light, because I actually just finished a Realm Reborn and Heaven's Ward on New Game Plus. Finally got through all of Heaven's Ward and the patch content. I mean, it's a lot shorter than A Realm Reborn, but there's so much, I just forget how much is in the patch content, but I don't want to start Stormblood until I make my video about Heaven's Ward because I want, you know, while it's all fresh in my mind, I need to do that. So anyway, thank you so much for this. Thank you for opening all of this with me. This was a lot of fun and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, everyone.